Welcome to Wrestle Capsule. My name is B, and this is a channel where you're going to be getting your dose of pro wrestling talk. And today I wanted to talk about the ladies, specifically um, this whole triangle of Bailey, Naomi, and Bianca Belair. But before I get into it, guys, if you haven't already, follow me on social media. I am very active on TikTok. I try having an Instagram, but I think Instagram didn't shadow ban me for some reason. I didn't even do anything wrong, but whatever. But back to the topic of today, Bianca Belair, Naomi, and Bailey. Now, the reason why I wanted to talk about these three female wrestlers is because I'm seeing something develop. I'm loving the way this story is being put together. Now, as we all know, Bianca Belair has beef against Bailey for all of the stuff that damage control has done to Bianca in the past. She lost her belt, like all this stuff. Bianca's holding on to it. Like she, the grudge is being held and she's not letting it go. And what's interesting is Naomi and Bianca Belair have this friendship that they've developed and it's kind of being a little bit, it was being a little strange, especially since Naomi is trying to have Bailey's back and Bailey appreciates it because she's had this switch. She's now a face now. She's no longer a heel and she's no longer aligned with <laughs> the very stable that she created damage control because they didn't throw her off to the trash. But anyway, now that Naomi is on side of Bailey, you know, Naomi, she don't like what's going on. She's seeing how damage control did her dirty and she just can't stand there and watch the injustice happen. But Bianca is not having it, not even a little smidgen. So it's interesting to see Naomi be in between both of these two women because she's trying to make peace. And I'm already seeing what WWE might be putting together. I'm having a feeling that there's gonna be a three on three, I don't know. It's, it's, it's just looking like it look it's looking like Bailey, Bianca, and Naomi are going to bed together against damage control. I'm assuming it's gonna be Io, Asuka, and Kyrie. I feel like the only way that Bianca is going to forgive Bailey and actually trust her is if Bailey comes in to rescue. Bianca. If she does that, then Bianca is going to second guess her stance on how she feels about Bailey. I'm looking forward to it. I know this, guys, this is a pretty short video, but I just wanted to come on here and talk to you guys about this whole thing and also get you guys' input on what you think is going to happen, especially with one of the biggest stories on SmackDown for the women, this whole thing with Bailey and damage control. You throw in Bianca, you throw in Naomi, and now it's starting to evolve. And I love how Bianca is staying so true to herself. Yes, she's still a face, but she's a face with attitude. And even though Naomi has a good heart about this whole thing, Bianca is just like, she just doesn't trust. She's been burst so many times. And I, I love how it's just such a realistic, it was such a realistic segment with Bailey being like, like, I get it. Like I effed up. I know this is my fault. I know I deserve all this that damage control is doing to me. And Bianca's like, yeah, 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 whatever. And Naomi's like literally in the middle trying to like to calm down and stuff like that. I like, it's so realistic and I love segments like this when WWE does it. It's, it doesn't seem like it's scripted, even though it is. It's just the authenticity that three wrestlers brought to the segment to make it real. Cause it's just like, how, how many times have y'all ever been in a situation where you were caught between two friends? You know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's, it's realistic. And I just I just love that aspect and I can't wait to see what they're gonna do for SmackDown. I really do hope that they have Bailey and Bianca Belair make amends because as we all see, Bailey is gonna need every single friend that she can get, especially going into WrestleMania 40. She's going against EO Sky for the women's championship. And I mean Thankfully, Naomi is in Bailey's corner now, but she needs she needs some other women. <laughs> like I said, like Bailey has burnt so many bridges, is now she's trying to make amends. And 
I have this, Bailey is going to need Bianca in her corner. And speaking of WrestleMania, I'm wondering how Bianca is going to play into the mix. We have yet to see her be uh, put in a match at WrestleMania. And I mean, she is the EST, okay? You cannot spell WrestleMania without EST. So I'm wondering how they're gonna put her into it. I mean, Bailey already has her championship match. I'm wondering if they're gonna put Bianca Belair and Naomi in a tag team match at WrestleMania. Why would you do that? Why would you do any of that? Do I want them out here going getting tag team championships? No. We already saw that. We already saw that with Naomi and Sasha and I'm still traumatized because of the whole situation. So I don't wanna see that. But I am very interested to see if they're gonna do that. I wonder if WWE is gonna put Naomi and Bianca Belair together in a tag team match at WrestleMania. I want Naomi to go on her single run, okay? I want her to do that. She just got back into WWE since Royal Rumble and I mean, I She's getting, she's getting the WWE ring rust off of her. I mean, yes, she was in TNA, but she's getting back into the groove of how WWE does things. Would I like her to be side by side with Bianca in, in this type of situation? Yeah, sure, but for them to be outright tag team partners, like I'm, I'm not feeling it. And like I said before, you guys let me know in the comments down below what you think. I'm just spatting out stuff that I'm just thinking about. <laughs> let me know what you think in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more episodes. Thank you guys so much for watching. Signing off, bye.